Well, next building on his right would have been the MT section, motor yep. transport. That's where they serviced all the vehicles, the truck, the Land Rovers, everything like that. It appears they've parked an aircraft, in it? Yeah, fire training. What was this? One squadron. One squadron, yeah. yeah. They were a, a field squadron, infantry. So that's the old MT section, I guess? No, MT section was over there. Oh, okay. What was that then? Um, yeah, there's no memory. I can't, I can't actually remember what this place was for. And sadly, I used to pass it twice a day, going to work, because my compound was just around the corner. Uh, I'm at a loss. No, I can't remember. It's only 38 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> well, if anybody does know what that was, please leave a comment in the box below. In the box below? You know what I mean. In the comment section. So this is Dave's old compound. This would have been 26 Squadron compound. 26 Squadron was a a rapier squadron, uh, anti-aircraft missiles for the defence of airfields. Um, this squadron actually went down to the Falklands on the QE2. Uh, this was the Howard HQ building and general office on the left. And then we go around that section was Gen Eng, or engineering section. That's where they used to uh, do all the repairs on the generators and the rapier system. Ah. Uh, those bays over that side were A flight, and those bays over here were B flight. The little one in the corner was uh, B flight HQ, so that consisted of a flight sergeant uh, and an SAC and there was uh, the HQ side of all B flight. I was on B4 which was the, not the last door but the last three before that, those were our bays. And the bays were only as high as the door. All the green bit above it is a void covered, well you can see there's a panel up there and oh, all yeah. that was, there was layers in there to stop um, ordnance impacting and destroying the kit. Oh, so it's bomb proof? It's bomb proof Yeah, then. yeah, all that above it is just uh, an impact layer. Wow. And the bays are only as tall as the doors when you yeah. get inside them. Right. What are these big bays here? Did you say that? Sorry. Yeah, that were Gen Eng. Gen Eng, yeah. Gen that's Eng. where they repaired the generators and the rapier units. Commanding officer. Commanding officer's parking space. Yeah. That was Bob Fishwick in my day. These were B flight officers. Yeah. And our uh, flight officer was in one of those. I was quite often in his office with my berry off <laughs> for facing various charges for all sorts of naughty things. Yeah. Um, but that was that would have been. Uh, Flight Lieutenant Martin. This first building was our guard house and for one day you would sit in there all day and man the gate and let people in and out, check their IDs and the classes and everything like that. Everybody took it in turn and we just sat there bored, just letting everybody in and out. So we have some, I have some pictures of my flight commander and section flight sergeant just stood over here in front of that building. I'll see if I can dig them out and we'll photograph the same area. Put that on. It's the beret of the Royal Air Force. And I had this issue to me when I first joined up all those years ago. Still got it. Um, yeah. Go. This was our squadron armoury uh, and we had a, 
a normal RAF armour attached to armour squadron to a Scottish fly, uh, fly, a Scottish guy called uh, Joe McAllister. He rode a motorbike and played the bagpipes. Not at the same time, I hasten to add. I believe we've got a picture of him, haven't we? We have, yes. Playing the bagpipes on a battlefield somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that was in the Outer Hebrides. They all used to have these markers on the base. And we had the corresponding ones on his vehicles, and this was uh, A section, uh, A flight section two. A one section. A one section, while that was. And this has got radar what tracker. What was in the bed? Radar tracker, the serial number, and the seventy-three all. Uh, oh, all up weight, which is, I don't know. 73 axle weight, axle, something? Yeah, something like that. Kind yeah. Of. Uh, this one will be the launcher. Ah. There's number plate. Number plate. Yeah. And at this side, we would have the MST, the Missile Supply Trailer and Land Rover. Wow, all in here. And then again, look, we've got the German. Oh, what's in here? Dirt, name, signature in, item, signature, signature out, signature in. Signing the kit in and out. Yeah. And then we've got the German sockets, outlets, and then we've got printed and de designed and printed by the Ministry of Defence, fire, MOD poster. If you wanted your generator or anything servicing, oh, you can see in there. There's something in there. There's a vehicle in there. In here. Yeah. He used to fill out the work requisition form, attach it to the keys, and post it through there. Is that the remains of your squadron marking then? Ah, B four. B flight section four. Oh, B flight section four. Is that what you were in? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was my my section. This was the B flight HQ, um, and all the ones being here will be a land rover with communications for B flight, um, and this consisted of a flight sergeant and an SAC from Mandy. Uh, communication side for B5. That's the loft area. Still see the like the, the rafters and everything. Got all the uh, cobwebs from over the years. Oh no, that's a boiler room. Oh we'll check that out. Well, say boiler room, it was all central boiler plant. Yeah. And pumped around this was just about room really. I'm just gonna look at these trees that would you see what I mean? Yeah. I'll take some shots in here. So uh, 20 wire internal to O troop office, 20 wire internal to field catering, cable 703 to build a moment eight out. That looks like really old heating control. That'll open with a little key and then there's all the dials and stuff inside. I don't have any tools with me because I'm not. I ain't got my white trousers on. That's a join here. Can't make it out, it's so faded. There's another one over there that looks for domestic hot water. That looks like it's for domestic hot water and cold water systems. So we're just going to get in the headquarters building. It's like the dining room. This was the uh, as canteen and function room. Sad dicky. Before we explored any further inside, we wanted to check out the back to see if the patio that Dave laid back in the 70s was still there. Somewhere there. Over the edge. 
Yeah, it was. This was your patio area. Yeah. Yeah, we used to sit out here and have beers and fun in the sun. Yeah, you can see the outline of where the patio was. Yeah. Tell the viewers, where did these flags come from? Um, so, all of these flagstones here, we had this idea we wanted to build a patio. And uh, they said, well, where are we going to get the materials from? Because we haven't enough money in the squadron fund. So I says, oh, it's all right, leave it to me. So we've got some Land Rovers, missile supply trailers, emptied them out. And at the far side of the air, airfield there were some lightnings. Uh, they were disused, decommissioned, but they were just there as decoys. And they'd put these fake aircraft pans made of flagstones uh, with these lightnings stood on them. And then one day somebody woke up and one of these lightnings were just stood on three flagstones, one under each wheel. So I don't know how that happened. And then you had a squadron patio. And we had a squadron patio, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what year did you do this? 19... 1980, I believe. Wow. So you built the patio in 1980? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can see where the, the vegetation has grown between the cracks and the flagstone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's all all succumbed to nature now, unfortunately. They even got the carpet stuff. I love this. This is proper 80s bar, this isn't it? This is how it all used to be, and then we redid the bar and panelled it all out like that. Some of the blocks on the squadron, their wives used to come up uh, and make us bacon sandwiches and things. Voluntarily, like, you know, they didn't get paid. So we all used to come up here for our tea breaks and we used to have cups of tea and bacon sandwiches, sausage sandwiches, eggs, egg sandwiches, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and they did it all voluntarily. It was brilliant, but it boosted that morale, you see, you know? Absolutely. Because there wasn't anywhere nearby to go and get snacks. So just for the record, you, you fitted all this wood effect to the bar? Nobody you, did. The nobody guy did. Was stood there. Yeah. Um, well, I helped. Um, he was here doing the joinery while I was out there doing the flagstones. Yeah. But if I needed a hand, he gave me a hand, and if he needed a hand, I gave him a hand. You know, it was, it was a collab collaboration. Oh, yeah, it's all dark. dark wood. Yeah. All dark, yeah. And the, and the brick exposed with panels on. Yeah, well, that's them bricks, isn't it? Yeah. I just need to... Make sure that I'm not pointing at your light because then it goes all dark. I'll just keep it handy then. Dave's just taking yeah. some footage for his, so, he's got first book group. The, um, the Staples. Have a quick look in there. It's all been stripped out by the locks. Yeah. 
and this isn't graffiti, this is the classroom where they've got one of them roll, roll around chalk boards uh, and a few other people from this, this squadron have signed it and uh, Dave's just signing it now Hello all, X26 squadron SAC M um, Carathis, I think that says. SAC Pembleton. Is that your mate? Um, no. Do you not he know? He was him? 72 to. Can't be a lady. Oh, that's when he visited. Uh, he came here in, nine, in 2008. Yeah. What's our date today? It is the 21st of October 2020. Yeah, I'm writing with a piece of plaster, not a piece of chalk, so it's yeah. a little bit awkward, but that's me. SSC Exploring Dev. Yeah. Sending. Somebody else has wrote something on it here. Let's follow. 26 squadron, 79 to 80. We were... We were here. Something. Yeah. 32 years later. So yeah. someone's come 32 years later. Yeah. CHVL, 15 to the 8th of 2018. Yeah. So... Now was here in... Mid-flight, so it doesn't take out the yeah. target. If you, you know, if, if, it's, if the system is wrongly identified an aircraft, the radar will pick up the aircraft, and it will alarm on it. And there's a, an interrogation system that will interrogate the aircraft, and it's asking for a, an operational code for that day. They could be changed hourly, but normally they change daily. And that aircraft has to send a response of that code. Otherwise, it will be flagged up as an enemy aircraft, and we used to set the code into the system every day. Um, and then, if it was friendly, it would be ignored. Um, if not, the kit would alarm on it, and we would go to track on it and engage when it was in within the missile capabilities, which was normally six kilometres or three miles. Yeah. Um, and the the speed of the missile was about Mach one point seven five. So, lectures ourselves to the other airmen uh, mm. uh, about things. And many a time they just pick a subject at random. And we used to have to stand at the front and give the lecture to, the, to everybody else for about five minutes as part of our trade progression. Because if he was moving on to be an NCO, uh, then of course part of that role is instructing other airmen. So we have to do that. Uh, and many times they used to, used to get me to get up here and give them a poem or a ditty or something like that. So I can't remember what I'm going to say. So, a long time ago, I don't know, in nights of old, when, in days of old, that's it, when nights of old and ladies wore no knickers. Uh, no, I'm not saying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Loft access. Where well, would you like to go next, Dave? Uh, so that's it for it for you now. I'm really happy. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can see that there's a definite square where the trees haven't grown. Yeah, where Dave put the uh, patio. Apart from the edge. Oh, there's a few stones to put down. Yeah. I knew there were. So yeah. Dave fitted that in 1980. Yeah, those curb stones went all the way around. Were they around the lightning as well? No, these... 
these curb stones and the sand and cement that the bed had done, that we had some German builders building some bunkers, and these were part of the bunkers they were building. Uh, sadly, them bags of cement and the stones disappeared one evening. I don't know. A whole lot of them, they took some damn carrying, I would think. Yeah, in such as like, uh, you know. RAF regiment Land Rovers that have been emptied so you could transport stuff. Trailers, you would need something trailers, of yeah. that nature to <laughs> Rapier system trailers. Yeah. Viewers, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and I'll see you every Thursday at 4pm UK time with a new video. Bye bye for now.